Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Chain Decos. Last time we left off, we got our first class mark, and I went ahead and put it on Victor, since it was a uh, cleric class mark, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, so it increases your mind and your magic a little bit. So that seems pretty good to me. So I guess we're just supposed to go up there now, but what's down this other staircase over here? Can't help but notice you. Nothing? Okay. Alright, up we go then. Wow. Uh, Pompadour? Nice Pompadour? Quit your yapping, filthy dog, and tell him what you told me. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we were tasked to kill Lady Parnella and blame it on foreign sports. Who gave you this task? What should I tell you, huh? How dare you, you miserable robber. <laughs> robber, you say? You're no different. We may rob people, but you rob a whole nation. Your ridiculous piece will be our downfall. We were ordered to stab the lady in the back, but you're worse. With your peace treaty, you've backstabbed all of Ascania. Enough, Farin. He has nothing more to tell than the others we've already caught. Take him away. He was the last of the gang, anyway. The rest is already rotting in the dungeon. Have we found the beast's body? Not yet, but we have witnesses that saw the monster fall with the collapsed tower. It's probably dead. At least some good news. What about the bodies in the East Wing? Was it really... Yes, there was a body of Chancellor Edgar among them. General Mathai? No trace. Did the General really go that far? Prince Frederick be damned, this is all his doing. Lady Parnella, Chancellor Edgar both died within our walls. Karin's people would have revolted against Prince, Prince Frederick if he had torn up the treaty and started a new war without proper reason. And now he can write history the way he wants. He will portray us as the aggressor. He will tell his people that we were lured and killed their chancellor. And he himself allegedly have no choice but to take up arms once again. What shall we do now, my lord? Mobilize the troops. Troops, prepare all airships and sky armors. Interesting. <coughs> so yeah... We have the war starting back up again, and you seem to think this is Frederick. I thought this was Mathai acting on his own, but, uh, no, apparently it's Frederick. Apparently it's Frederick. And, yeah, that's Lynn's brother, so... I had hoped to hand over a kingdom of peace, but I have failed. When you take the throne, all that awaits you is more hatred and bloodshed. There is no way around it. You knew that yourself. Probably. Tarn controls Wernshire. How much longer do you think we can resist? We can use the princess. Princess Celestia of Tarn. You believe that was her? Chancellor Edgar did, and he should know her. What's she doing here in this act she's putting on? Take her hostage. Yes, if that woman was truly her, we should find her immediately. You want to take her hostage, but maybe we can still avoid war. This war has never stopped to begin with. We need to act fast. Give haste, Farron. Leave no stone unturned and bring me, Princess Celestia, alive. By your command. Prince Frederick will think twice before taking action against us. The love for his sister has reached even my ears. Interesting. So we're in trouble. Because they're, they're looking for us now because we have the princess with us. I do love the look of this castle. It's super cool looking. Kind of hard to explain why I like it so much, but... Well, here we are. We made it out. Same way Sienna came in. We finally made it. Seems like they have control over the... They don't have... Doesn't seem like they have control over the fire yet. My brother, is he really involved in these assassination plans? That's what I was wondering. Since our Lord Father fell ill, he has ruined, ruled with a firm hand. I must hear truth from his lips. This night's events won't be without consequences for the peace of Alandis. When Prince Frederick hears of what has happened here, he will blame Ascania. And I must tell him that a demon attacked and no one is at fault. So she really is the princess. I imagine her to look different. It's her, alright, so show her the respect that she deserves. Someone recognized you at the banquet. Farnsport might already be searching for you to take you hostage. You should head for Tormund in secret, and I shall accompany you. You would do that? Well, I'm a fool for exciting stories, and I have some business to attend to there. And since I was elevated to knighthood, helping you is a virtue I am obliged to follow. Very well, Sir Victor. I am most happy to accept your help. 
In order to get to Tormund, we will have to cross the Kortara mountain range. Paths around the mountain are dangerous, especially when avoiding the main route. Three of us will have a hard time. We shall find some capable warriors at the Adventurer's Guild. Yes, we could do that, or we could hire someone whose fighting strength we have already tested. You want our help? The help of common thieves? We don't even know what kind of crooked games they are capable of playing. If we show our backs to them, we will soon be met with a dagger. I believe in them. They already rescued my life once. But is this reason enough? If they return the lost princess home safely, they will surely receive a reward, so trust in their greed for gold. This should be easy for you if you think of them as thieves. What do you think, Killian? Help the princess. The voice again. Listen to my advice, Glenn. It's important to, in order to open the door. What are you talking about? We did not find anything in Farnsport regarding the grimoire. Tarn's main capital, Tormund, would be our next destination anyway. Might also be able to ask for information about the grimoire as the reward. Okay. Settled. We'll help you. I thank you. You'll be properly rewarded for your selflessness. Well then, I wish you luck, but now's the moment where I say goodbye. Generous reward is great, but there's not much to buy in the realm of the dead. Take care, my dears. Uh-oh. Yep, the people are after you. But when I think about it, it can't be that dangerous to cross the mountains, right? Really? You want to come along as well? I wouldn't say I want to, but it seems to me to be the smartest option at the moment. Choose the light of day and move on. Hopefully we'll find more answers in Torment, Killian. Well, this is hardly possible. My brother has nothing to do with this conspiracy. I must explain these events to him. It's nobody's fault that this beast invaded the palace today. He will believe me. I do not trust these crooks, but there is no denying it. We need their help. Sir Victor and Lynn are for it. I will not stand in their way. I will come along and help as much as I can, but if it gets dangerous, I'm out. Shh, shh, shh. What a colorful troop. Very well, on to Tarion. Alright. Victor keeping uh, the glue that keeps everyone together. Yeah, what a crazy looking castle. Reminds me of the Disney castle in um, Kingdom Hearts. Soil of a land may be nourished by blood, but I'm sure that one day peace will be able to take root against all odds. Alright, so are we on like the world map or something? We will cross the Cortara Mountains. Monsters and bandits will await us there. And they will be the least of the evils. Even if we are in a hurry, the safety of the princess is our first priority. If we have to make preparations for this in the city, then we should take the time to do so. Main checkpoint to the north might be under surveillance. We can try our luck there anyway, or we can visit the village of Basil. Ogles there might tell us how to get through the mountains without crossing the checkpoint. Either way, both options lead through the lead across the Roland Fields. Before we travel, there are some places we need to visit here in Farnsport first. Receive new quest and finished quest. Interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, I was going to explore the town anyway, so... Alright, had to go take care of something really quickly, but we are good now, so... Uh... How do I access the map? It's square. Okay, there we go. So, where exactly do we want to go? There's a lot of places to check out here. I imagine it's these little logos. Like these little stars. So, why don't we go ahead and check all of these things out. You had a chance to eat a plum from body, go for it. There's nothing better, I swear. Advertising? Me? No, I'm just bored. The other children call me a liar and never want to play with me. So boring. Okay, bye. Fresh fish, I can throw it to you and you, so you can tell your family you caught it yourself. Okay. There's another character to talk to over here, can I talk to them? I want to talk to the dog. Thank you. You can pet the dog in Chained Echoes. Let it be known. Hit up the Twitter account. Always a fantastic feature. Okay, that's a big bowl. Put down here, and then... We will... You can treasure. Find it. And then we will grab it. Shh, you idiot. Someone might hear us. Okay, well, I want to know about your treasure. Come over here and try some of the best meat in Ascania! Mm-hmm. Hello? 
half the stuff here is stolen, and half of those merchants are actually pirates. They are the only ones that set sail for Volandis, so we've learned to live with the lie. Interesting. Another puppy to pet. Gotta pet all the puppies. It's a requirement. Okay, so... That was everything over here, I guess? Oh god, this map's confusing me a little bit. Okay. Should avoid this place and buy your stuff somewhere else, unless you want something less legal. Hey, I don't care where it came from, as long as, as, long as it's good for me. Come and buy original pasta straight from Fernasca. His noodles are missing the eggs, just like him. Everyone on the market claims to be selling fresh fish from our waters. Every time I try to catch something, I only find garbage. What am I doing wrong? They are lying to you. They are absolutely lying. What in the world is that? It's the only market of its kind in Volandis. Being so close to the free cities in the south allows farm sport to flourish, relatively speaking. Hey, you guys come here for the deals? Though my reputation as the ultimate dealer is known all over Escania. No? You don't even know what deals are? Oh man. I don't just sell you things for money. No, instead you sell me your stuff, and if it's something nice, I'll make you a deal. And sell me anything. Materials, items, collectibles, anything. Give it a try. Get a, a sea otter horse perch from my boy over there and sell it to me. Deals. Special offers you unlock by selling a certain combination of items to any merchants. Once you sell one of the items needed for the deal, you will be notified. The list under deals shows all available items for which you sold at least one item. You can check what remaining items you must sell in order to be able to purchase the deal. Interesting. So what, I need a fish? Boss is teaching you how to use deals, right? How very selfless of him. We follow his example. Here, take this otter horse perch for free. Thank you. Anything? Let me sell my... my perch. Sell and quit. New deals have been unlocked. There we go. Okay, cool. So I got a starter pack, and then I've sold... I need a Danda Panther. Ooh, Light Armor 3. Includes a single piece of equipment, goblin skulls, and sturdy buckets. Okay, cool. Alrighty. So give me the starter pack. Snack, sweets, angel wing. Nice. And yeah, I can get the Light Armor 3. Metal Jerkin. Oh, awesome. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, equipment. Metal jerkin. There it is. A type of light armor. Extra mind is what you get out of that. Hmm. Defense mind. Maybe on you? You could use the extra HP. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I want on you. It wouldn't be bad on you, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's just give it to uh, Glenn here. There you go, Glenn. Enjoy your metal jerkin. Well, that's cool. And it's nice that it shows me uh, what all I need to actually sell to unlock the deal and all that jazz. Alrighty, so... We have went there. And... What are these little dots here. I don't know what those mean. Weird. Hello. Farnsport is the perfect stop for goods from the free city towards the north. This makes Farnsport the wealthiest city in all of Volandis. Even during the worst times, we at least have bread to eat and water to drink. Can't say that about Gravos or Tarn. Yeah, it is a port. So it's, uh, you know, where a lot of the trade comes through so they don't have to worry about not having things. Makes sense. What in the world is this? Excuse me. Where am I? Okay, so we're down here, but what is this? Is there stuff in here? I would like stuff. Hi. See the tail hanging there? That's our boss, the ultimate dealer. Oh, we're under there. Okay, interesting. It's a special kind of uh, Fjellrin. His body needs to stay cool and hydrated. Okay, so we're under where the ultimate dealer is. Weird. Very, very odd. So yeah, this is just a little area I stumbled into. It doesn't really seem like there's... ...much of anything else in here, yeah? Yeah, it's just kind of a bunch of dead ends. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I can't interact with this at all or anything, so... Alright, that was just some weird shit to come and see. 
It's fine with me. I'm down for, for weird shit. Okay, so... I thought there was going to be something cool in there since it seemed like kind of secretive. I didn't mean to go through there. I gotta finish exploring this area. Alright, let's see what all we got. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, how do? How do? How do treasure? <coughs> um... Hmm. How in the world do I get over there? It doesn't look like I can squeeze through any of these. Yeah. Maybe I gotta go through the other end? Hmm. Let's go up here and try going down this way. So, over here and down? Maybe? Maybe this will get me where I want to go? I pet the kitty! Gotta pet the kitties too. I swear, I saw a monster enveloped in flades. Flames heading towards the palace. No one believes me. I believe you. <coughs> uh, clear my thread there, jeez. Anything to steal? No hero attacks for me? Okay, I'm up. I'm going up then. Aha! There's something to steal. Two iron ore. When are we going to get the ability to craft things, though? Alright, so should this... This should lead me down to where I want to go, yeah? Yes! I'm a genius. A raven cloak. That seems cool. Raven cloak? Hmm. And that's just something you can wear, right? Oh no, you can wear it too. Ooh, we might put that on you. Yeah. Yeah, I think we might put that on you. Because you're the only other character that can wear it. So, yeah. There you go. Extra TP in mind for, um, Lin here. Well, extra HP, TP, defense in mind. There you go. I was looking at Victor earlier. Alright, cool. Well, we're wrapping up a lot of the secrets that are hidden around uh, farm sport over here. <laughs> oh god, random cough. Yeah, this will probably have to be a shorter episode today because, um... I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, weather, and I'm good enough to record, but I can't record as long as I normally would, because uh, my throat will start to mess with me and stuff. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? Jeez, rude. Uh, hit me up with this again. So what's in here? Stuff to steal. Your attacks? Oh yeah, just stealing stuff out of someone's bedside drawer. You love it. We're the heroes of this adventure, so we are allowed to just go in and steal people's stuff. That's the rule. That's the JRPG rule. Hello? Bizarre is a world of its own. Being here makes me forget all the trouble outside. You have a place like this? Yeah. Inside video games, usually. Makes me forget the world outside. Uh, am I interrupting something? Let me just steal an antidote from your clock. <laughs> oh, you dirty pig. Oink, oink. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, okay, about exactly what I expected is going on is going on here. I'll leave you two to your kinky shit. Have fun, okay? Have fun. I'll leave you two to it. I won't just sit there and watch you, creepily. How foolish of me buying a house close to the market. Thought it'd be practical, but do you hear the noise? I can't stand it. Yeah, it probably would get pretty loud, wouldn't it? Some sage. A blacksmith? What do you want? Equipment? You ordered in advance? No? You can forget about it. A huge order came in from the palace this morning. Think a new war was coming. I see. What about the anvil there in the corner? Can we borrow it? I do have a bit of blacksmithing experience. Alright, I read that. You invented the letterpress machine, right, Sir Victor? You're Sir Victor, huh? Heard you were in farm sport. My wife literally eats all your work. You can handle it. You can use my tools any time. For a small fee, of course. I should test your skills first. I don't want you to break my stuff. Go through my house to the backyard. You'll find a crystal source there. Upgrade this boy's sword one level and insert a crystal into it. If you can do that, I'll trust you with my tools. Crafting. Upgrade your weapons and armor by using materials found in chests or dropped by monsters. Upgrading weapons and armor raises their stats. You can upgrade each piece twice, shown as plus and plus plus. Additionally, the equipment gains more slots to insert bigger and or more crystals into it. <laughs> this seems cool. This seems like it might make it where upgrades aren't just linear. Like, um... I always like in games where... 
upgrade trees aren't linear. They're not they're not just vertical, they're horizontal as well. Like there might be circumstances where you would want to use this weapon that you got earlier. So you don't want to get rid of all your equipment because this dagger that you got earlier on in the game may be useful for this one specific circumstance later. I like those kinds of systems, so I hope that's what this is going to do. All right. Uh there we go. Gather crystals with passive skills to set into armor and weapons. For example, you can set an attack up crystal into a weapon to have your attack raised while using this weapon. Crystals need to be ranked 3 or higher to be inserted into equipment. Interesting. Crystals have ranks. On rank 3, the crystal unlocks its passive skill and can be set into equipment. On rank 5 and 10, this passive skill gets more potent. In order to raise the ranks, you need to combine different crystals to, of the same passive skill. In order to raise ranks, you... Oh, okay, I see. In combining a crystal, you'll choose a base crystal and a fused crystal. You'll enter... You can enter any crystal with the purity above zero. So it's purity one or P1. The resulting crystal will have the base crystal purity minus one. We'll have the ranks summed up. We'll have its size averaged. Becomes an artificial crystal marked by an asterisk. These crystals can only be used as base crystals and not as fused crystals. Okay, this is going to take... I'm going to have to refresh myself on this. You can set several crystals into a single piece of equipment. You need to consider the amount of slots on your equipment shown as empty circles and the size of the crystal. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to have to refresh myself on all that. Seeing all these merchants and sailors makes me want to set out and discover the world for myself. But then again, I get seasick pretty quickly. Also not in the best shape. Walking for a few minutes makes me exhausted. Plus, I hate most foods and eat only what my mother prepares for me. And sleeping? Don't even get me started. I need a bed that's twice as big as me. And it must be dead silent, of course. Guess I should stay at home. I need a fan to sleep. Alright, let's get in here and see what we can do. You said the backyard, right? Oop, gotta pet the kitty. Uh, kitty doesn't like me. I should have walked at it slower. You wanna buy equipment? I have to dis dis disappoint you. This morning, the army showed up and bought out our entire inventory. You need weapons and armor? You'll probably have to look outside the city. Yeah, they're prepping for war after all. Ooh, HP up. This reminds me of uh, Aether Crystals in uh, Xenoblade. That whole system, the gym crafting and all of that. Alrighty, so now that we've got that... Okay, combine crystals. So I could combine the HP up one, or HP up two, and then I could fuse it with the HP up one. Okay, and then this is an artificial crystal, so I can only use it as the base now. Its purity is three. Yeah. HP up three. Set into weapon. Uh, HP up. Who do I want that? Okay, so Glenn's the only one that has something I can put it in. Here you go. Uh, can't I? Uh, crystal. I should. I. I have a three, right? Maybe it wants me to upgrade your weapon first. You want to enhance for free? Yes, I do. I got an Iron Sword Plus. So now I need Tin Ore, Thin Hide, and Sterile Mucus. But now can I set it in, in here? There there we go, now I can- Oh, that's why, because it uses three slots. Okay, and I only had two slots on the sword before. Okay, okay, that makes sense, yeah. There we go. Raises maximum HP by 10%. Okay, okay, that's what was going on. I, I thought I was missing something stupid. Well done. Feel free to use my tools anytime you want. Okay, well, I can't really do it with anyone else because... Er, oh no, everybody else has crystal slots too. I guess that was just for the tutorial there. So I can probably upgrade everyone's stuff. Uh... Definitely upgrade your spear, Len. Wooden bone, I need thin hide for that. Tin ore beast pelts. Uh, the katana definitely needs to be upgraded. I use that a lot. Uh, the greatsword as well. Okay, so... That's good there. We can go ahead and upgrade Dejin as well. Increase your magic. So the only one we couldn't upgrade was... Rob's weapon. And... That's it. Just Rob's weapon. Poor Rob. 
Yeah, I needed more thin hides. Okay. Well, we don't have, uh... We don't have any more crystals, so... That's the only one we got. So Glenn should have even more HP now, yes? Glenn? Yep, Glenn has 118 HP, and you have all three of your crystal slots filled. Cool. Yep, raises HP by 10%. Alright, well, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to, uh, refresh myself on that for the coming episodes, because... Uh, <coughs> that's pretty in-depth. Okay, so where do we want to go now? So I've explored <coughs> everything around here, I believe. I think now we just need to kind of go up here. I did come in here. Yeah, this was the, the yeah, yeah, the oink oink. Okay. We'll just leave them to it. I don't, I don't want to see what's happening there in any kind of detail. What are you staring at? I'm about tired of you. Alright, now let's just go up to the north and see what we got. The game is telling us exactly where we need to go, but I still feel the need to explore everything. Wait, what? Oh, that's where that went? Oh, I was trying to get up there. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is where we came in, huh? Yeah, I mean, it, it has the line showing where each thing connects. Let's go down to that southern area first. Why don't we go explore all of that? There's probably good loot and stuff to get. I mean, I already found a good new piece of armor just by walking around and stealing stuff from people. Alright, what's up? How you doing? Love being a man of the sea. When wars break out and borders are redrawn, we can just find a new port. Things get worse in Volandis again, nothing will keep us here. Man of the sea. Just like, uh, just like Xenogears. With the, with the good old walrus captain. Ooh, hello. That's equipment. Part of the city is called the Floating Village. This is where the poorest of the poor live. You can really call this living. Uh-huh. Well, I want that. How do you get that? Yes, this is basically just the slums. The rich cover themselves with perfume to smell better, but they're fooling themselves. Down here, we know they're real stench. Do you smell all that garbage? It's all washed up here from up there. Ugh. What doesn't make any difference to us here? We got nothing to eat either way. And since we're... Whoop. And since we're too sick, we won't be drafted to the army. Don't ask me if that's a blessing. Ugh. Not only does the woman in the shack tend to our sick and wounded, but she also takes care of shells. Helping shells is pretty useless, if you ask me. Nothing can rescue them from their fate. That aside, she's also a fortune teller. Strange combination. Shells, you say? Hi? Magnolia? Oh, you look cool. Sorry, we're not taking anyone new. Not in the mood to... Not in the mood for anything, actually. Okay, bye. Sorry I asked. Hello. And what exactly are shells? What is it? It's just sick people? Helping people is my passion. That's what everyday heroes do. Thank you, Elena. You actually have a, like, art. Interesting. This is the treasure, right? Yeah. Bulkin. Uh, is that immediately an upgrade to my common katana? Of course it is. Of course it is. And here I just upgraded the common katana, damn it. Uh, fine. I mean, I'm happy I found it, but I guess I should be more careful with upgrading stuff. I don't know if the common katana is ever going to have, like, a use that would make me want to use that over the Boken. But whatever, we have it now. I guess I should probably go up there and upgrade it as well, assuming I can. But it's even, even after the common katana has been upgraded, this is just a straight-up upgrade. <coughs> so... Let's go check it out, though. See if I can get anything good. Probably won't be able to upgrade anything at all, but... It's best to check. I don't like that character that just keeps asking me what I'm looking at. What are you looking at? Alright. Um... Katanas. Ah, if I hadn't used the bamboo fiber... Damn it all. If I hadn't used the bamboo fiber to, to upgrade that, I could have upgraded this. Oh, that angers me. 
But I had no way of knowing I was going to be finding a better katana just chilling in a box. Damn. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. I'm sure I'll be able to upgrade that soon. I wonder if there's a place I can just buy materials. Like if there's a shop I can just buy bamboo fibers from. If there is, that would be very, very helpful. Hello. People say we sailors don't have homes. Pa! They don't know the feeling when we put the sea. It's like coming home. Sailors. This time of year, the Hooge should reach our waters again. Our ship urgently needs new spare parts. The Hooge? The what now? I see the fish hanging out in there. <clears throat> Is this game going to have a fishing minigame? I know fishing minigames aren't a lot of people's favorite, but uh, I actually really like them. We got coconut fiber, but not bamboo. Bamboo's what I need, damn it. Can we get some bamboo, please? Foreman looks pretty strong, but he's the biggest chicken. When we got the news from the palace earlier, he immediately turned tail and couldn't get out of Belanda soon enough. <coughs> is that so? Bamboo? Damn it, alarm clock. Our foreman is from Galtena, a place on the other side of the world. When a giant fungus spread throughout the land there, it caused a lot of problems? Nasty business, I tell you. The foreman doesn't have good memories of it. Fungus. Faster men, we'll load the cargo and then we're out of here. Let Valandis burn without us. Oh, you really are ready to go. Giant fungus. What is it, cordyceps? Cordyceps start taking over everybody over there? Alrighty, so... I guess we just go here now. I've looked everywhere over here. <clears throat> yeah, I think these little, like, uh, squares on the map are just entrances. That makes sense. The same monster appeared in the middle of the royal banquet. Hard to believe, but on the other hand, the amount of monsters has been steadily growing for the last few months. How you doing? Big giant pig conductor. Alright, what else we got hanging out around here? Notice that sometimes enemies have some sparks around them. Heard they drop more loot after being killed. I did notice that. I've had like one enemy do that. Fine wool, not what I need. Disappointing. Okay, I'm starting to I'm starting to get an idea of the map now. I understand how it works now. Utility overdrive. Can't bear it anymore. Our peace prevailed for only one year and now we're at war again. I already paid with my husband and son's life. There's nothing left for me to give. Please, this war must not start. I would even forgive Tarn and Gravas. Many of them lost their loved ones as well. Yeah, war takes from all sides. <clears throat> we should avoid the soldiers. Yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. Okay. So I've already entered um, all the places we can go in here. Save crystal? Fast travel. Over the course of your adventure, you will find fast travel crystals. They unlock destinations for you to quickly travel to. Open the map and then open the fast travel menu to select your destination. You can fast travel from almost any area in Belandis. That's useful. Well, I definitely, definitely like that. What have we got in here? Treasure? Bamboo fiber? Nope. <sighs> I really wish I hadn't wasted my one bamboo. I had no way of knowing. My girlfriend thinks I'm a coward. I'm gonna prove her wrong. Have you heard of these people the army is searching for? We're gonna find and report them. They're a dangerous group of six people who broke into the palace last night. Made up of two women and four men. One of the women has red hair and another one has... Ha <laughs> I haven't seen anything. That's right. Watch yourself. Need anything? Okay, you have some stuff. I have no things to sell, though. Um, you got any? God damn it, I wish you sold some... Yeah, I wish you sold, like, bamboo fibers. There you go, puppy. If you follow the road, you'll reach the Adventurer's Guild. If you know how to swing a sword, you can earn a coin or two. Really? So that's just up here. Interesting. Alrighty, well, uh, I actually went a little bit longer than I was expecting to, uh, in this episode, but I was having so much fun, damn it, so. Alright, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. My voice is starting to, starting to be like, I hate you, so. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.